I'm back at it again, folks, with another game day video. Listen, you read that title, I'm gonna tell you again, Garlic Parmesan Party Wings. Let's get it. Welcome back to another episode of Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B. Today I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make that homemade meatloaf. Let's get it. First things first, we're gonna go ahead and start by preheating our oven to 350 degrees. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and prep my onions for the mixture that's gonna go into the meatloaf. Stay with me, folks. Now, I want about a cup of diced onions, right? And these are gonna be finely diced. So let me go ahead and get this cut down. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you how I finely dice my onions. I just go ahead and I do it like this, right? You guys can go ahead and see. I just go straight down. And I try to get it close since it's gonna be finely diced. Right, then I'm gonna go this way, right? So you wanna be careful with the knife and you're just gonna go ahead and go straight across. Just like that, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and take it and just go down. And this is all with practice, folks. You're gonna have this down a couple of times after you do it. All right, now they should look like this, right? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take them together and just chop so I can get that finely diced, folks. All right, now that we got our onions all diced, you guys can go ahead and look at those. Those are finely diced. We're gonna move on to our beef. Now, I already have one pound in here, and that's that 93.7, folks. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that in there. And then if you take a look at my ingredients, one, it's not a whole lot, and this would be a great time to save. The full ingredient list will be down in the description box below. But you can go ahead and see, I have these sectioned off. This is for my meatloaf sauce, right? And then everything over here will be for the actual meatloaf, right? So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add these breadcrumbs in here. Go ahead and add a milk, some oregano, some paprika, some salt, some W sauce, and go ahead and add two eggs. All right, now you gotta have the right tool for the job to get everything in there. You don't wanna lose any of those ingredients, right? Because when you put them down in these little bowls, sometimes they get stuck on the side. This way you get everything. Pro tip, folks. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and add my onions. Mm, I'll say about that much. I'll see if I need more at the end. Then, my favorite part, folks, that garlic. First of all, look at how big those garlic cloves are. They're huge. Now I'm gonna go ahead and load them up here if they fit. Shake it up a little bit. My favorite part puts a smile on my face. All right, now before I move on to putting some pepper in that, folks, because that's getting fire, I'm gonna go ahead and get another pro tip on this soapy water, folks. You can't sleep on this. You need to clean as you go. All right, now you can't forget about that freshly cracked pepper, folks. Now don't ask me how much, you just keep turning till your arm hurts. All right, now we already added some salt in here, so I'm, not, I'm gonna try not to over salt it, and I'm gonna just get in here with my hands and work it. All right, now I got my saran wrap here because I'm gonna go ahead and let this set in the fridge, but this is how it's supposed to look, you guys. Come on and look at this. You see those onions, those breadcrumbs, all that. Mm fire folks so we're gonna go ahead and let this set for about 30 minutes you can do this overnight you know you can do this the night before and get it ready but we're gonna do it for 30 minutes all right folks now it's been 30 minutes I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this off and ooh we look at that folks and add this here and we're gonna start shaping it right and remember folks soapy water wash as you go all right folks now we're gonna try to Go ahead and shape this into a loaf and just, you know, do your best. All right, now come on in and take a look, folks. Ooh wee, folks. Now we got some. Now we're gonna go ahead and put this in the oven for at 350 for 45 minutes. And I'll be right back. Now, while that's in the oven, folks, we're gonna go ahead, it's almost done. We said 45 minutes, about 40 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and start making my meatloaf glaze. Now, this is gonna be the level up, folks. 
I'm gonna go ahead and add all our ketchup in here. Remember you guys, you gotta have the right tool for the job so you get all of it. Then we're gonna go ahead and add brown sugar. Now, I left it out for a little bit while I was getting ready for this video, so I'm gonna go ahead and just crumble it in there. I'm gonna get some garlic powder and some onion powder. All right. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and whisk. Ooh wee, look at that, folks. All right, folks, now we're gonna go ahead and take it out. And ooh wee, folks, look at that. Now we're not done yet. We're gonna go ahead and take that glaze that we made. And we're gonna put it right over the top. Now don't be shy. Make sure it gets all over. And this is a level up, folks. All right, folks. Now, you can always make this in a perfect shape, you know, if you use a meatloaf pan, right? But not everybody has one, and I couldn't find mine, so we're gonna go ahead and do it this way. And this way, it seems more homemade, you know, and it's still gonna be fire, folks. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and put it back into the oven for 15 minutes, but this time, we're gonna go ahead and put up our temperature to 400. Now we have to go ahead and take this out. It's been 15 minutes. Ooh wee, folks, look at that. Now we're gonna go ahead and let this cool for about five minutes before we slice and I'll be right back. All right, folks, you saw that B-roll. Now come on in here and take one last look at this. Mm -mm. Fire, folks. Let's go ahead and get a plating because my mouth is watering already, folks. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this here. Look at that. All right, you guys saw that B-roll. Come on in and take another look, folks. Ooh wee, folks, that's fire. Now let's go ahead and let's plate this so I can go ahead and take a bite. Let me just take one slice first, just like that. Now I had to bust out my knife for this because that little butter knife was not gonna do it, folks. But there it is. Look at that, folks. Ooh wee, I'm ready. Let's go ahead and taste this. All right, now let's go ahead and taste this. Now listen, folks, like I said, this is a very budget-friendly meal, you know, very ex inexpensive. You can feed up to like eight people with this, your whole family. Now I'm not gonna over talk it, let's go ahead and taste this. Cheers, folks. Mm -mm. Fire, folks. Now, like I said, this is very budget friendly. You can feed almost anybody with this. You know, it's very kid friendly, not spicy at all. Now, listen, let me take this time to say hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, you know how I finish my video, folks. I'm gonna take this and I'm out. Peace. Beautiful. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and drop this in here. Hold on, cut. <laughs> Ooh wee, folks. Now we go ahead and come on in and look at that. Stop making that face. <laughs> you make me. <laughs> All right, folks, now you already saw some B-roll of that. Does not, ah. Go ahead, go, go, go again, go again, go again. All right, folks, now you already took a look. Come on, in. Oh, you already took a look. Come on in and take a look at this, okay. All right, folks, you done seen that. <sighs> I was about to say thumbnail. Okay, go again. All right, folks, you saw the B-roll. <laughs> the the B-roll. <laughs> okay, go again.